Okay, today we're taking a look at a Dreamcast game. And this Dreamcast game is called Propeller Arena. The special thing about this game is that it was unreleased. This game was originally going to come out in 2001, but this is an airplane game. And there's a level with by Sega. a major me metropolitan Developed city. By AM2. And Sega thought it would be in their best interest to not release this because of the September 11 attacks. Propeller and Aviation I can Battle see that, I guess. But this game was completely finished, ready to go. Just needed to be slapped in cases and sold to uh, Sega fans. Show you what the USA can do. Let's enjoy the ride. Oh, what the pain! Right, yeah. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> yay, yay, yay! Don't count me out. I tell you, don't underestimate me. No, no. I'm going to show you what the... All right, naturally, I'm going with the uh, USA guy. The basic premise... The basic premise of the game is, instead of war, they just have uh, tournaments in World War II aircraft. You know. Pretty standard, insane... Hi there! I'm your DJ for the tournament, Greg Irwin. You all haven't fun yet. Enjoy the pleasant background. Yeah, annoying Sega announcer guy. Trying not to talk over him. Uh, yeah, this is very arcade feeling game. And, uh,. <laughs> Man, that announcer guy does not quit, does he? Um, it's a very arcade-style game. You just fly around and rack up points, blowing the shit out of other people. And the game looks amazing. Uh, the controls are easy to pick up and play. And the cool thing about this game, the thing that would have been cool about this game, is it had internet support. So you would have been able to... Uh, play online with your friends, I guess. Gosh, listen to your guy talk. He's just constant, annoying talking in this game. I didn't know, you don't notice it when you're playing, but I'm trying to talk over it, so that kind of sucks. I don't want it to be too confusing. I forget the name of the band, but this is, you know, real music from 2001. So the only way to get this game is to download it, because it was unreleased. And if you didn't know, Dreamcasts will play burnt games without any modification. One of the many reasons that, uh... The same crap uh, Dreamcast died out. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I'm pretty sure you just have to get 10 kills and uh, you win. I'm not sure if it's any uh, more complex than that. There are little power up boxes floating around go shoot them or fly through them and get a power up or some points and stuff. It's you could you could see playing this in an arcade. And it was developed by AM2. Yu Suzuki made a freaking ton of uh, arcade masterpieces. And the characters at the character selection screen Man, they just look like they uh, crawled right out of Shenmue, don't they? 
Especially that fat guy with the pizza. He just really made me think of Shenmue 2 for some reason. But this is a beautiful game. Real easy to pick up and get into. You can go through the campaign mode or you can just go to a real quick match. The online multiplayer would have been amazing. <laughs> Listen to that announcer, it is cracking me up. Wow, Eagle Jam! This fight is so one sided! Dude! Totally tubular! The environments uh, do offer a lot of variety, so that's a good thing. I do show the uh, major metropolitan New York City-ish looking uh, arena, but yeah. So there is a real good uh, amount of variety in the backdrops and settings in this game. And, you know, for the low, low price of downloading and burning to a 20 cent blank CD, this game is definitely worth playing. Now sometimes when you're uh, flying behind a plane, you get the option to hit a button and it sort of zooms in on them and you don't have to uh, steer your plane anymore and I actually like that just because it looks really cool. That's one of the amazing things about Sega is a lot of the games are just pick up and play fun. You can put five minutes into it and have a great time or you can sit around for hours playing the shit out of a Sega game and having a blast. There's not a lot of games these days that you can just pick up for five minutes and play. Because you have to sit through, you know, the intro 15 minute cutscene. Not to say there's anything wrong with that. I am a Metal Gear Solid fan after all. But you can't play every game like that, you know? It's good to have a little variety. Oh, these characters are so over the top. Did you see the awesome power of the USA? Eagle Jam! <laughs> Bingo! Gosh, is this what Japan thinks of America? I'm sure it is. Eagle Jam loves shooting guns! Let's go drink some brewskis! The Paps... <laughs> the Paps Blue Ribbon's on Eagle Jam tonight! Party at Eagle Jam's house! Oh, the terrible announcers and the uh, characters talking reminds me of Daytona USA. But it's terrible in such a classical, amazing, wonderful way that you can't help but love it.
Eagle Jam! What a battle, man! Cool! This is so one <laughs> Cool! Man, this game is putting a huge smile on my face. Yeah, this is the controversial city. It kind of would have been cool if they just scrapped this level and released the game anyway, because I would have been very curious to know how the online component of the game worked. And I guess they were afraid of people being dicks and flying their plane into the buildings and, you know, just real tasteless acts of vulgarism. Yeah, I like that, uh, that mode you enter when you're just gunning down the enemies. I love that view. This game really gets you pumped up, you know? It's really fun flying around, shooting other planes down. It is... It's a good time. I'm definitely rating this game a Mondo Cool. For all my new subscribers, I don't really do a, you know, out of 5 or out of 10 rating scale. Basically, my, uh rating system is it's mondo cool it just means i really like this game it's fun you should give it a shot and there's sort of a juicy middle rating where it's not for me it might be for you and then there's doo-doo games where they're just doo-doo games they're not worth anything at all and i haven't reviewed any doo-doo games yet and I may or may not. Oh, I try to keep my collection pretty uh, clear of doo-doo. So most of my games are Mondo Cool and highly recommended to everyone that loves video games. And I'm sure I got a lot of games that are just meh. I like them, you may or may not. So that's kind of my review system. Nothing, nothing set in stone. Nothing, uh... You know, can you really say a game's 97 out of 100? Why isn't it 97.628? So anyway, this game's definitely a Mondo. Ouch, had a little hiccup in the narration. This game's definitely a Mondo Cool. Highly recommend it. Uh, look for it on any popular ROM website. I usually go to emuparadise.org or CoolRom.com and I'm pretty sure Emu Paradise had this if not a quick Google search will do it for you uh, highly recommended game very fun goofy announcers very colorful and just a gorgeous game to look at and fly around in so thank you for watching if you haven't please subscribe rate the video, leave me a lot of comments, and as always, I have more reviews and videos on the way, so stick around. Propeller Arena Aviation Battle Championship